Franca, another victory in Australia. Uh, performance full of attack and intent. I mean, is that something to really round off this tour? Yeah, it's been great for the tour. Uh, good for the confidence of the team. Uh, two, two, two challenging games in different ways. So it was the heat and the jet lag and a good, good opposition, obviously. And, uh, and tonight was probably a team that we expected to defend a bit deeper and we had to be better on the ball and control the game. And we did that. So And we were clinical. Nice. You'll be the first to acknowledge that Tougher tests are obviously going to come ahead in the Premier League, but the quality of the attack in tonight and the p passages of play as well, is that something to, to take confidence from? Yeah, you can only deal with what's in front of you. And uh, we used it as a, not a training game, I don't mean to devalue it, but when a team give you opportunity to play in their half, then you've got to do it well and be sharp and move the ball well. And, you know, the level will go up when we go back to the Premier League. That's the, that's the problem. That's the difficult bit. But you, you can only work and practice, and like, even like the, the nature of Anthony's last goal, where he moves it quickly and gets his shot away. That's what he and Damari and Dwight and players have to be doing, you know. And they have to practice it and they have to apply it. They did it tonight. And we need to carry on doing that when we go back to England. You mentioned about Anthony practicing that. He actually said in our interview how much work he's been doing on the field with with Joe after as well. So is that the importance to get that confidence, but also to put the hard work in on the training ground? Yeah, sure. It's, it's the only way to get on in this game. It's to work on the training pitch and keep going and be consistent with it. No matter what, whether you're scoring or you're not or whatever, that just happens. So, um, Andy does that. Other players do that. It can never be something that he lets go. He has to keep doing that. And when you do it, you'll just see the rewards. And some good night tonight because he got his rewards. A quick word for Dwight McNeil. We played a different position tonight. How impressed were you with his performance? Yeah, really good. I thought he was great and really grew into it. Some great passes, great energy. I know he can do that kind of more central role as an eight. He's played there before when he was younger in his career and it's really something to, for us to look at in, a, in an attacking manner. I mean, he covers a lot of ground, Dwight. I think sometimes the way he moves, I mean, people don't sense exactly how much ground he covers, but he covers a lot and he's got a great quality and just trying to work with him, settling into the club now and it, we have to give him a bit of time to, to, to find his seat. It's very normal for a, a young man like he. He's just turned 23, I think, today. It's very normal that it takes a little bit of time and games like today, he showed his quality. Word on Isaac, you called him the best player on the pitch against Celtic. He looked like he'd been playing for Everton for years, the way, the way he's played. He's been brilliant on the trip. Um, deserved to play because he's trained great. His energy is amazing. I think you can see that really natural energy to his game. Wins a lot of second balls and he's calm when he gets there. Um, and he's passing. I'm going to put him higher up in the last 20 minutes. He's finding lovely little passes and great pockets. Which is a bit of a natural knack, to be fair. So, real positive trip for Isaac. And... Um, he puts himself now in the frame to be in the first team squad when the game starts. You know, we've got a couple of injuries and things, so that's what young players have to do when they sniff a chance, they have to take it, and he's taken it this trip. Does that extend as well to Tom Cannon and Stan Mills? Came off the bench, made an instant impact on both of them, and obviously a first senior goal for Tom. Both of them, yeah. They're both, they're both done great. Stan's been great for a long time in his training application and his consistency of performance and his attitude, and, uh, and the same with Tommy. They're, they're, a, they're a delight to coach because they're low maintenance and they want to play for Everton. And they've both showed their qualities. And again, they'll be with the first team squad in the short term future. And obviously the fans remain here. You've been you know, fantastic in interacting with them. Just how brilliant have they been in the whole time we've been down under? Yeah, they've been great. You know, we're staying very central in the city and we've seen them when we walk in and running or whatever we do. We get out with the staff, with the players, our hotel. Really, really great. It shows the size of the club, shows the support we have over here from, from people that follow us and watch the Premier League and, uh, and follow the club like that. So, you know, we're very thankful for what we've received over it. And it's been two wins on the trip. So what do you hope will be the main benefits from this week in Australia? A bit of confidence. Go away and have a bit of break. The lads deserve a bit of a break. It's been a, uh, a chat, you know, tiring trip to travel. And by the time they get back, they've, they've, they've put some good into it. So they need, some, they need a break and reboot a little bit. Um, forget the last week of, before the break where we had bad results and when I say forget it I mean you know I understand the things we need to get better at but start fresh go again um, because we'll get a lot better I'm sure of that but we need the work we need the time and, um, and also we want to get results along the way of course